So I need at least 10 people to come and vote for me if I have any chance of moving on in the competition. Oh, you poor sweet angel. Of course I'll come. I know that you guys paid a lot of money for my college degree, but this is where it starts to all pay off. So to justify taking out a second mortgage to pay for your tuition, I now have to buy tickets to the show. Grammy, Grammy, can you, can you hear me? Can you come to my show on Sunday? It's at the club. Mm-hmm, thank you. It was such a nice card. It was very religious. I know, Jesus is the reason for the season. No, but I was talking about the, the show. The show is at the comedy club. Slacks and a blouse, that sounds great. Sounds like a great outfit. I'm glad that Gail is doing well. That's great. I'll do it, I swear to God. Yeah. I'll. I already said I'd come to the show. Oh, okay. I'll see you Friday. Where did I go wrong? So I told my parents I was finally putting my theater degree to good use, which they were pretty happy about. And my grandma's here too, but she doesn't really understand anything that you guys say, so. When I was blading over here, came across a couple of hobos, gave them each 20 bucks, so they're in the audience. Yeah, I told my parents I could move out with the prize money if I won, so, you know, obviously. Uh, they didn't say anything in the rules about them being human, so, I mean, they were just sitting at home anyway. So my parents have been doing this crazy bananas thing lately where they're begging me to stop masturbating before I fall asleep. <laughs> Obviously not gonna happen. So I told them the simpler solution, you know, would be just getting my own bed. You know? <laughs> I was like, fuck PETA, am I right? I'm just kidding, guys. Just kidding. I hate when I come home but then, like, I remember that I don't have a home. Am I right? <laughs> you know, you got your cardboard box, and you're like, this is pretty nice, but, you know, it's not the best. Yeah. So have you guys ever been so poor that you're, like, literally you just own one ripped pair of Forever 21 yoga pants? <laughs> <laughs> this will do. This will do for a fancy evening out on the town. And now, for our final contestant of the night, Andy Haskins! Yeah, so, uh, so hey guys, got this great joke. Uh, girls, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make you so wet, you're gonna need an umbrella. Yeah, all right, pussy, hands up. Oh yeah, awesome guys. Uh, hey, I like my women, like I like my chalk, non-colored. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, all right. Pussy. All right, we've calculated the results, and we have a tie for second place. Phil Bowen and Madeline Smith. And now, the winner of the So You Think You're Pretty Funny, huh? contest is, drum roll please, Andy Haskins. Hello, you two. Great set out there, great. Thank great you. job. Thanks. Absolutely. I'm William H. Dingman, but you guys can call me Dingman. I'm here on behalf of Knee Slapper, the comedic representatives, and I may have an opportunity for one. You see, they've sent me to these small communities to try to find local comedians to bring to New York City and get their career on track. Now, they've given me the opportunity to take two comedians, but I've already chosen Andy Haskins. So it's between one of you two. I'll do it. Oh, I love the enthusiasm, you two, but unfortunately I haven't yet made up my mind. So, I'm going to be keeping my eye on both of you, and we will see who will come out on top. Until then, it's been nice to meet you, and best of luck.